Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I, I am gonna bring you along throughout my day today. I'm currently getting ready, obviously. But um very exciting day. I am 35 weeks pregnant as of this very moment as I'm filming this. And I have two doctor's appointments today. But it's going to be kind of a long day just because I didn't initially have two appointments today, but now I do. Long story short. <laughs> Basically, um, my first appointment is an ultrasound, actually. I'm getting a, it is called a biophysical ultrasound, and then two hours later, is my actual appointment with my OB. Biophysical ultrasound um, is only happening because a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, I kind of had some concerns about like some decreased movements from baby and so I brought it up with my doctor and she put my mind at ease and gave me the option to do these biophysical ultrasounds every week if I wanted to. Um, so I did one at, I believe it was like the day before 33 weeks, so 32 weeks, six days. Everything looked great with baby. Um, my OB had me go ahead and just like schedule all of them out. Um, so I have one today. And the closest they could get it to my appointment was two hours before. So I'm really hoping like once I get there and do my ultrasound, they're like, they'll be like, you're a beacon, we'll see you early so you don't have to come back. So that's my hope. Um, but if I'm being super honest, I don't feel like this um, ultrasound is 100% necessary, but I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the appointment for now. And I may cancel like future ultrasounds. Um, I think what was going on last time I felt like his movement had decreased was he had flipped. So he went head down. His movements obviously kind of started to like slow down compared to like what I was used to. Um, and it just like, you know, made me nervous. I am going to get an ultrasound today. Just because I want to see him. <laughs> and then if everything looks good today, I might just like cancel the rest of my ultrasounds. Um, just because a weekly ultrasound plus OB appointments is just like a little overkill, a little, a little unnecessary. Maybe causes me a little extra, a little extra stress. That is my plan. So my eyeliner on, get my mascara and stuff on. Like I can never, film that very easily so anyways <laughs> this lipstick is charlotte tilbury in pillow talk i feel like i get asked a lot about my lip colors that's what this one is anyways gotta put on some dio for this bo you know <laughs> I, uh, I've actually been loving this deodorant. I don't know if you guys have ever tried native deodorants before. Um, the smell of this one, sweet peach and nectar. It smells so good. This stuff is amazing. So I just wanted to, uh, thank native so, so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them real quick and then we will continue on with this vlog. All right, guys, I'm super excited to share with you a little bit more about Native because I've honestly been using this product for a very, very long time. So when they reached out to want to collaborate together, this was like a duh, no brainer for me. I've been using this product for so long. <laughs> One of my favorite features is obviously the ingredients. These deodorants are aluminum free and paraben free, vegan and cruelty free. They are not sticky, dry super quickly, and they're great for when you're on the go. I'll be honest, there is not a scent that I have tried that I have not liked from Native. Not to mention they have such a wide range of choices and new limited edition fall scents that were just released. 
Something that makes me feel extra good about using Native products is last year alone, Native donated over $2 million worth of products to Hope and Comfort, a nonprofit organization to help deliver health and confidence to those in need. Not sure if you're aware, but Native does have more to offer than just deodorants. They have these incredible body washes. I am obsessed with the Surf and Sea Moss scent, not to mention they also sell toothpastes. Native is now offering what they're calling their new limited edition coffee house collection. You can get three deodorants, which would normally cost you $36, but if you use my link and code, you can get that for $24. That's a total savings of 33%, and with my code, you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Here is today's outfit of the day. 35 weeks. Hello, baby boy. <laughs> this is just like all that's comfortable right now. I don't have a lot of pants that fit. I don't have a lot of shorts that fit. And yeah, this is uh, we're rocking today. I don't know if you guys can see, we've got the bassinet up. <laughs> There's actually a bunch of stuff in there right now. These are all things that I need to pack into my hospital bag and I've kind of just been like tossing in here so I don't forget them, um, but I really need to pack that. I mean, I have my suitcase, I have stuff, it's just a matter of packing it. So I do think I'm gonna do a like what's in my hospital bag video. Uh, you can see baby's nursery right there. Sneak peeks. And I'm also gonna do a nursery tour. So I have lots of really cool videos coming before baby's arrival. And I wanna get them up before he's here, obviously, because once he's here, I feel like nobody nobody will care <laughs> what was in my hospital bag um, because all the people we're gonna care about is baby, and rightfully so. I am going to get ready to go to doctor's appointment number one, which is the sonogram. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that this vlog and just everything that's going to happen today is drama free and a good positive appointment. Trying to do one of these every week. Bump update pics. There's my photographer. <laughs> he can. Is it a flight? Draw this. Yeah. <laughs> 35. That looks like on my teeth. You good? Square? Yeah. Are you sure you Yeah. Is he in it? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, today has literally been such a whirlwind. Like the whole day has gotten away from me. Oh my gosh. Anyways, <laughs> hi. I know it's been a millisecond since you've seen me, but I have so much to update you on. Let's rewind. Back to my first appointment, which was my sonogram. We had the biophysical, um, ultrasound, which ended up turning into a growth scan, uh, which was awesome. Baby boy was moving and grooving in there. Couldn't see his face, which is, you know, to be expected with where we're at. He's completely head down and facing my spine. But we did get to do a growth scan, and obviously, you know, you kind of have to take growth, scan growth scans with a grain of salt, um, because it is kind of an estimate of what they're measuring like. Um, but he is measuring in the 76th percentile. Um, so very healthy baby boy. Um, and their guesstimate was about six pounds, four ounces. So um, he's a very good size. He's very uh, plump. <laughs> I'm of course happy he has the perfect amount of amniotic fluid. Um, he uh, His movements are good. Everything looks good after my ultrasound i had to wait about an hour and 15 minutes before my next appointment with my actual ob 
So I think I showed a clip of it already. I went over to Panera, got some soup, and just kind of hung out and worked on my laptop a little bit, and then went back for my appointment. My appointment with her was um, quick and painless. <laughs> when she walked in, she was like, how are we doing? And I was like, I think my baby's a giant. And she's like, oh, yes, you got a gross skin. Let me go look at that real fast. So she went and looked at my gross skin, and she was like, okay, your baby's not a giant, but I can see like why you would be a little nervous of what, where he's measuring, he's healthy. Um, but overall, she's so happy with the way he's looking and how things are progressing. She has no concerns at all. Um, the word induction was brought up, so there's that. I don't think we would do one um, until after probably 39 weeks. She's, she's mentioned between 39 and 40. Um, inductions are a little bit more common, especially with IVF pregnancies. Um, you never know. He could come on his own whenever he wants. We could end up doing an induction. We could end up waiting. Everything's all up in the air and I'm just going with the flow. We will see. <laughs> so as of now, I am officially on every week appointments instead of every two weeks. So it's just like we're getting down to the wire. I like after today really feel the push to pack my hospital bag. <laughs> I really feel like I need to like, okay, time to go, time to be ready in case this boy decides he wants to come early or you know, you just, so after after my appointment I had to like dial into a work meeting so I was like listening to this work meeting on my car like Bluetooth or whatever the whole way home and then I knew I had another meeting when I got home but it was like um, gonna be like an optional meeting like a like a team trivia night or something with my team and um, as I was getting off the call they were like by the way um, the next meeting isn't actually a trivia night. It's a surprise baby shower for Kelsey. And so that was so sweet. I came home to um, Crumble Cookie. They sent me a whole box of Crumble Cookies, which was so stinking sweet. I cannot wait <laughs> to dive in and eat all of those. Look at this scrumptiousness. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This one like comes with syrup. This one is like a waffle cookie. I think the theme is like breakfast. This is like fruity pebble. I don't even know what that is. This one smells so good. I'm so excited. Like I don't even know where to start. <laughs> okay, I won't eat all of them, but you know. Try a little sample of them all, maybe freeze a couple, give some to my family because it's a lot of cookies. And then, yeah, so I did that. We did like a couple of fun little baby shower games. It was super chill um, and everybody was just super sweet. And then, yeah, so it's just been like, go, 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 go all day long. So I'm freaking tired now. Mmm. That is delicious. Oh my gosh. All right, so, well, Anthony's playing golf, I might, I might start thinking about things that need to go in my hospital bag. I think I honestly might do that. It'll probably be its own video after this. Mm -hmm.